Walker Buehler. He mentioned his shortest outing of the season his last time, but still when you put it all together, the last five starts, his ERA is around one and a half. Striking out in the first curveball from Buehler this afternoon. It's a line drive base hit in the left center. Pollock hangs on as Bellinger throws it in. Two on with two out. And that's what he uses to finish him off. 99 to the inside corner. And all against the 34-year-old Clay Buckholtz. Signed with Arizona on May 1st. It had been a couple years since he did a full-time role in the majors. Machado reaches out. Tugs a high fly ball to left center field, but it dies on the warning track as A.J. Pollock puts it away. Fastball gets him looking at the knees. Gets him to chase an elevated fastball and back-to-back -back strikeouts to open the second. Gets him. Went out of the zone after that one, and he's the first out of the second. Tails that one back in to get him, and six up, six down for Clay Buckholz. Got him swinging, cutting that one at 97. Bueller inside the bag, and it's Walker Bueller that becomes the first base runner of the day for the Dodgers. Machado hits a fly ball to center field, but got under it. Pollock trying to find it in the sun. He does, and they've left them loaded. All of a sudden, develop right before your eyes. Couldn't lay off. And Bueller's got it all working right now. His seventh K, two gone in the four. He does with a fastball at 97. Chases here, strike three. Buckholz with his third. Randall down on strikes. That's a one, two, three inning with bookend strikeouts for Buckholz. He's matched a career high with nine strikeouts, and he's only through five innings at this point. Missed over the plate. Muncy with a high drive. Right field. It is gone. Seeing it well enough to do that and open the scoring in the bottom of the fifth. He is two for two, and the league's hitting 114.1 when it comes to pitchers. Climbs the ladder, hits a top spinning fly ball to right center that'll top spin its way to the ground. Back to back one out singles. Turner slashes one on the line to second, back to the bag for a double play. First one from Bueller is a breaking ball that he hits on the line to Dozier, and I'm not sure if Dozier caught it or if it caught him. Bellinger smacks one on a bounce that eats up. Escobar and in safely at second is Machado swings and misses for strike three and he gets him looking McFarland had that sinking action that he wanted and is able to pitch around the traffic in the six fastball and Goldschmidt goes up and gets it drops it into center field he's got both hits today Avila hits a pop fly into center field. Goldschmidt tagging at third. Bellinger settles and makes the catch. Here comes Goldschmidt for the play. The throw! They got him! Safe. High game. Got him. Executed the changeup, and the inning is over. Got him. Got him swinging. On the ground, base hit into center. A.J. Pollock snaps an 0 for 27 slide. 
Slash to short. Machado with a backhand. Goes to second one. They turn a double play. He struck him out. Stick him with a fastball to keep it tight at one. 3 1 offering. Dozier cracks a soft bounce at a third for Descalso. That's that in the eighth. To the ninth we go. Tight at one. Descalso rips a fly ball to center field. Bellinger back on it. At the wall. It is. Still no signal. Now there it is. It's gone. Descalso breaks the tie with a leadoff home run in the ninth. That ball smashed to right over Kemp's head. He watches it bang off the wall. Avila headed for second. Kemp's throw bounces. Turner couldn't hang on. Jansen deals another 0 2 and gets him looking. Hernandez shows blunt, lays it down left side. He's done the job. Tying run moves to third. Winning run moves into scoring position. Here we go. Fly ball left center field. Matt Kemp has done it again. To beat the champ, you've got to knock him out. The Dodgers take three of four from Arizona.